What's going on, y'all? It's your boy AC. I'm back in the building with another video. And big news, big news that is that is going crazy. They got the boxing world. As a matter of fact, not just the boxing world. This joint got the world buzzing, man. Um, it, it just goes to show you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Heavyweight boxing. Ain't can't nothing top heavyweight boxing. When the big boys come out to play, it is what it is. Um, unless you've been hiding under a rock, um... We've all know about the saga that's been going on between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Uh, we uh, we we've we've been hearing the posturing, uh, the business posturing that has been going on between these two camps for the longest time, uh, and um, every, I mean you know ever since ever since Joshua beat Klitschko, uh, this is this is. This is ha this is what we've been wanting. Um and now it seems like it has to happen now. Um because of what happened. Um as we all know that you know uh, Deontay Wilder was offered a flat fee of 12.5 million dollars to take the fight in Cardiff um and all of that. And and the big and the and team Wilder he and his team countered back with the ultimate power move. Um, Anthony Joshua said not too long ago that he, in a heartbeat, that he, in a heartbeat, would uh, take $50 million for a fight. Well, lo and behold, today, April 25th, 2018, uh... And from what and from what I've been hearing uh, uh, for a couple of days, this offer has been on the table. Um, Anthony Joshua is getting paid a flat rate of fifty. No, well, not a flat rate of fifty million, but fifty mil guaranteed purse, um, upside with with upside potentially on on the pay per view side. Uh, this is an interesting turn of events, and this is good. This is good. Okay, um, look, I do believe that AJ wants to fight. Okay, I know for a fact, uh, Wilder wants to fight. Uh, Wilder's team wants to fight. I'm not, qu I'm not so sure that Eddie Hearn wants this fight. Truthfully speaking, um, look, this weekend Jarrell Miller was to fight. Well, is supposed to fight Johan Duhapis. He has plans on fighting. He wanted to make uh Jarrell Miller fight uh Anthony Joshua. Now, if you don't know about Jarrell Big Baby Miller, he's he signed to Eddie Hearn too. He signed to Match Match Room Promotions also. Um he wants to make that fight. He wants to he wants to get the, uh Anthony Joshua another twenty million dollar payday to fight anybody. So he could just keep milking him, give him a flat rate, and then give uh, Jer let's say Jarrell Miller, let's say give him eight million dollars or uh, you know eight million dollars or ten million dollars to fight. I mean, you gotta understand they gave Charles Martin eight point five million dollars just to come and hand his hand hand his title over to Anthony Joshua, the IBF strap. Okay, um, so you know I. I I have no doubt that they were willing they they're willing to pay him seven to eight million dollars to come over there and and possibly take take a whipping to uh uh to Anthony Joshua. Um I think that's the fight that Eddie Hearn wanted to make. If not that, then definitely Alexander Povekin. Um because Alexander Povekin is mandatory in two sanctioning um, in two sanctioning bodies. Um, and he said that he does not want to take step aside money. Um, the only thing that's saving this is the fact that, um, as far as the fight goes, um, unifications trump mandatories. So the fight between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua will be for undisputed. So I guess, uh, Alexander Povetkin is going to have to, you know, take a back seat, <laughs> take a back seat. Um, you know. And with all of this, there's been a lot of talk. Well, mainly 
from Eddie Hearn. You know, he um as of right now, as of me recording this particular video, Eddie Hearn came with a response. He's um he's questioning questioning if Wilder, you know, questioning you know, questioning, I'm sorry, the legitimacy of Wilder's claims that you ain't even got to counter this all it. It's in the bag. You know what I mean? Um I don't think Eddie Hearn understands American politics too well. What I mean, American boxing politics too well. Um, I don't know if anybody's told Eddie, Eddie Hearn this, but Showtime has put on the biggest fights in the history of the sport, okay? To my understanding, was Tyson, I think, was it Tyson and Holyfield uh, or Tyson and Lewis? They were both Showtime pay-per-view. Mayweather versus Canelo. Uh, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Mayweather versus McGregor. All of the all of these fights, all of these fights, is Showtime CBS. Okay, so the reputation for making the big fights, the biggest fights in the game. Is there. Okay. Um, Steven Espinosa, which is an executive of Showtime, has the full backing of CBS. Um, I don't understand why Eddie Hearn would not think that CBS couldn't front the money. And there's no front for the money. Um you I mean, come on, they they wipe their behinds with 50 million. I mean, what is CBS is like the biggest media conglomerate in, 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 in the United States of America. So that there that's that. So you got C B so you got CBS and Showtime back in Wilder. And also Anthony Joshua has one more fight on his Showtime deal. So there you go. So the fight again is easy to make. Not to mention not to mention you have the Al Heyman effect. Uh Al, I have never seen a scenario where Al Heyman does not get what he wants. All right, um, there's there's very few scenarios that Al Heyman doesn't get what he wants if he really wants it. A lot of people were wondering, well, what in the world happened with the PBC where he was able to get those funds to, um, for P, um, for the Premier Boxing Champion startup bread? Well, that's because Al Heyman is damn near billionaire himself. How can I say this? The man got over what almost half a half a billion. What 450, 400, 450 million to start up the PBC from an what from, from a group of investors. That means you gotta have at least 800 million to even get that type of money. You feel what I'm saying now? So with all of that, with, with, with this with this type of team back in Wilder. For Eddie Hearn to question the legitimacy is a red herring, to say the least. It makes me believe that he doesn't want this fight as much as everybody else does. So, I hate to say it, but, uh, you know, uh, there's no excuse for this fight. Not no, There's no excuse for this fight not to happen. There's no excuse for this fight not to happen. Um, and, and, and in all fairness, if the fight happens in the, and if the fight happens here in America, let's say Barclay Center or let's say uh, Vegas. Um, this fight is a hundred million dollar fight. So if AJ really want the bread, bring us behind over here and fight in America. Uh, because the T-Mobile Center or the Barclays Center sitting, sitting 17000 could make more money, realistically make more money than a th- than ninety th- within 80,000 seats at Wembley Stadium. Truth be told, okay, for a big time fight of this magnitude, the heavy hitters, the ballers, you know what I mean? The athletes, 
the athletes, uh, uh, um, the entertainers, the move, the big time movie stars, or whatever the case may be. I I pretty much guarantee you that they will pay twenty grand for one seat. They'll do it. They will pay twenty grand for one seat. Okay. So with that being said. The money's here. And with a $50 million flat rate given to uh, Anthony Joshua, there's no way that they can take. There's no way that they can deny this. This fight has to happen. Has to happen. It has to happen. So this is a good thing, right? This is a good thing right here. Um, Of course, you know, there's always that. That all that, there's always that possibility that you know something will slip up and then it's not gonna happen and you know whatever. But I'm gonna save my I'm gonna save my judgments on on the fight. You know, um, you know, and when the fight is signing and we get a date, then that's when I give a act. That's when I give my assessment on the fight. Um, and one more thing before I um before I get off, um, sign off this video right here. For all you AJ fans, um, that's that's questioning whether Wilder has the money or not, or whatever the case may be. You know, I I I, I hear it all the time. You know, or whether it's in various Facebook groups or you know different things like that. I'm here. And you, it's being told that well, Wilder has never made any more than two million dollars. So how in the world can Wilder afford to give up? This is BS. He ain't got that type of money. Blah 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 blah. Look, number one, stop being hypocrites. All right, straight like that. Y'all are hypocrites. And I'm gonna tell you why, all right? And, 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 and let's keep it and let's keep it all the way a buck. Let's keep it all the way a buck. Alright. If Wild if Wilder was to go in debt, which he's not, okay? Which he's not. But if Wilder, even if Wilder was to go in debt to make this fight happen, what do you care? As long as you, as a fight fan, see the fight. Since when? Now, now I understand we live in the age of social media, but as fight fans, are we really supposed to care if if, if some if somebody's getting paid what they're worth? As long as it's not you, I'm just I'm just being honest. Why do you care about what what Wilder has and what he don't has? If your man, if your man is getting a guaranteed purse of fifty million dollars, I personally, you know what I mean, I want to see Wilder succeed. I want to see him have. No, I want to see Wilder succeed. I want to see Deontay have all the success in the world, as well as AJ. But if the man tell me, "Hey, don't worry about my pockets," I'm not gonna worry about his pockets. I'm not gonna worry about his pockets. Mm -hmm. I. I I'm not going uh, uh no, I'm not counting this man's pockets. If this man is if this man is, is going in debt to make this fight happen or whatever the case may be. Cuz why don't question this man's, you know, wh whether he got the money or not. That's not that's not up to you. Only thing you should want is the fight. This is the wrong time to be counting to be counting money. To be counting somebody else's pockets. Counting money that you ain't going to never going to see. Y'all got to get up off that. Either you a fight fan or you're not. Either you want to fight or not. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are acting like y'all don't want to fight. A lot of y'all are acting like y'all really, y'all are not in a hurry to see these two lock horns. Y'all are acting like y'all don't want these two to throw hands. I don't understand y'all. Either you fight fans or you're not. Y'all telling me that y'all not. For real, this is the biggest fight in the world right now. And y'all are complaining about money that y'all know y'all ain't going to see. Stop playing with me, man. All right?
Look, $50 million, the ball is in the Hearns court. Either he's going to take it or leave it. And if he takes it and if he leaves it, it makes it, it makes Joshua look very, 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 very bad. It makes him look very bad. Like you can't like I I like I don't even see how he'll get I don't even see how he'll be looked at with an ounce of respect. This ain't see this is not gonna hurt if if this fight doesn't happen and 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 Hearn is the problem. Hearn is not gonna be looked at like that. It's it's gonna be Joshua is gonna be looked at as a coward, not Hearn. People are gonna look at Joshua like yo, you turn down that money. You a duck, Chief. That's exactly how people going to look at it. So, that's all I got to say about the subject, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the next time. It's your boy AC. I will holler. Peace.